All right, I'm going to give you just a quick history of how we got into digital radio and ham radio. Back early on, we were developing repeaters and we were selling those. Well, what happened was the FCC actually created this mandate where they wanted the mobile radio industry to go digital versus analog. And so when that happened, um, I created a lot of waves in the industry. But the cool thing is, is that everyone started to go more into digital. And since the commercial radio was going that direction, of course, the ham radio operators wanted to jump on that too because they love technology. And so they started developing um, using these different digital modes like we talked about but one of them was DMR and as they started to use this DMR mode um, have more DMR radios and repeaters they created these networks uh, like Brandmeister and TGIF which are big networks of digital repeaters that people can talk on. The thing about digital radio is that it's much harder to program than analog radio and DMR specifically is also difficult and so what we were finding is as we were selling equipment and radios to ham radio operators is that they would call us they'd be really frustrated they wouldn't know what to do and so we would be explaining to them over the phone um, trying to create you know really good customer service support for them but as we did this over and over we realized how awesome it would be to create a video training series you could get with your radio so we created bridge Calm university so now everyone who got a radio could watch the videos and step by step not only learn how to program their own radio but in the process they would learn how to use this new dmr digital mode um, in addition to that, then we decided we could actually do the programming for them once we developed the SkyBridge hotspot. And so we created the plug and play package and now what you could do was you could send us some information. We would program your specific information into this package and it would be plug and play out of the box. So that's basically you know where we got to and how we got really into ham radio and also just how we stood out from our competitors at the same time still selling to commercial radio still selling repeater systems and uh, yeah and that's kind of how it happened